So before I start this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in my closet so you don't have to wonder anymore. And it's a banana. Now you don't have to wonder anymore about what's in my closet. So let's move on to something a bit more serious. I got told today that Python isn't a real programming language. Now, as you might have noticed, this is a Reddit post and this is something very common you'll hear when you program in Python. A lot of programmers around the world are going to try to challenge you or tell you that Python isn't a real programming language. And this really depends on their own private definition of programming languages. Because in my opinion, saying Python is not a real programming language is like saying that English is not a real language. And that's just comparing it to Latin, the true language of the world. But let's go ahead and dive into this Reddit post. So it said, I got told today that Python isn't a real programming language. So let's call my friend Jeff and let's call this other dude Ashat. I was showing Jeff a cool new project and Ashat asks me what language I wrote it in. Keep in mind that Ashat has no programming experience at all and thinks he knows how to program because he has an A++ in AP computer science. Congratulations Ashat, I tell Ashat I wrote the program in Python and he starts talking about how Python is only for beginners and that it's not a real programming language. So here's a very common case of Python being considered not a real programming language because it's super easy and super high level compared to the other programming languages that we are used to programming in. And in case you don't know what high level means, high level just means that the programming language has a large layer of abstraction from the actual computer code. So a very low level language would really have you typing what is known as computer language, while Python is just like typing pseudocode, it just makes it so much easier and puts a big layer between the programmer and the actual computer binary code. But moving on with this Reddit post, it says, okay then Mr. Asshat, if you're not the expert about Python, show me your socket programming skills, which wasn't real programming to you. And I'm not really upset, but man, Asshat made my blood just boil today. And this is a very common feeling we get as Python developers. I mean, we get a lot of hate for using something that is so easy to use because it's so easy to use. And there are a lot of responses to this, of course, and I'll just read one of them because, I mean, it is quite motivating to know that there are a lot of people that do back up Python because I do believe Python is a real programming language, no matter how simple it is, even if it uses other programming languages under the hood, it still gives us the tools of a normal programming language with some exceptions compared to the other programming languages such as Java or C++. Now this comment by Knight Thastis says, tell him to go tell that Python isn't a programming language in quotes to places like JP Morgan and Chase and Bank of America who are using it to replace the vast majority of their old legacy Java slash C++ systems or a lot of other financial institutions that have followed suit. And it just should be noted that just because Python isn't the fastest language in the world or doesn't provide you all the tools of a language such as C, it doesn't mean you can't use it in the professional world to achieve a good result. Even YouTube uses Python for their algorithms and for a lot of the functionality on their platform. It's not something to be excluded that you can use Python to be successful. It gives us really good tools to do things very easily. But moving on with this comment, also workflow automation system, WAS, an application designed to manage NASA and other third party projects were made in Python. So just some other examples of where Python is used in the real world. The list is quite long, but admittedly, a lot of it is businesses and manufacturers that everyday people aren't familiar with, with specific projects. But regardless, Python is used everywhere in the professional world, not for everything, but for a lot. And that says a lot in this comment. I really do like it because it does point out a lot of the powerful points on Python. We do use it for a lot of, we do, a lot of companies do use it because it is powerful and easy to use and just provides us a lot of the tools we need for nearly no cost. And just because it's slow or provides a high level of abstraction, I wouldn't refer to it as not a programming language. I always like to think of Python as a language that glues other languages together, such as the English language. It's not just Latin, it's not just French, it's a big mix of all the languages together. And now we can actually communicate with a mass majority of the world through English as a common ground. 
And that's how I really like to think Python. It's something that brings technologies together and makes it easier for every single developer or non-developer to actually create a program. So, I mean, there's a lot that can be said about Python and it being a programming language or not. I'm really curious to hear what you have to say about this. So please leave a comment regarding what you think about Python, whether it's a programming language or not. I would love to read about it, but that's really all I wanted to cover today. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.